Attention all students, Monday and Tuesday, in English class, you will be taking the NWEA. Please take five minutes to complete this, this list right now so that you are ready for the test on Monday and Tuesday in your English class. This is mandatory for all students with an English class. Check for updates yourself, turn on your Chromebook, connect your Chromebook to Wi-Fi. At the bottom right, select the time, select settings. At the bottom of the left panel, select About Chrome OS. Under Google Chrome OS, you'll find which version of the Chrome operating system your Chromebook uses. Select Check for Updates. If your Chromebook finds a software update, it will start to download automatically. If you would like to see an interactive tutorial, click here. Good afternoon, John Glenn. It's Friday, September 25th, 2020. Happy birthday to Noel Wyatt and this weekend to Saya Lang, Kaylee Fair, Dean Whitmer, Sam Strange, Sophie Strange, and Perla Garcia. I'm Joel Hulse, and this is the view from the Falcon's Nest. Junior golfer Megan Cobell is the first girl golfer to qualify for the 2020 state finals in girls golf program history. Megan scored an 82 to finish as the fifth individual state qualifier out of the Lafayette Regional. We talked with Megan before the opening round and she mentioned the difficulty of the course and her excitement for making Glenn history by being the first female golfer ever to represent the Falcons at state. A huge congrats to Megan today and good luck at today and tomorrow at state finals. Glenn girls soccer beat Jim down 12 to zero. Goals were scored by Sarah Lang, Bailey Schuber, Leona Thomas, Ellie Lang, Maddie Muller, Madison Rhodes, and Amelia Capellis. The John Glenn boys soccer team closed out NIC South Conference play by defeating Jimtown 7 to zero. On a cold, windy evening, the Falcons' offense managed to control the ball, working it around the field and looking for attacking runs towards the Jimtown goal. The defense got back on track and shut down any Jimtown chance of mounting a serious offensive threat on the Glen goal. Overall, a solid performance offensively and defensively by the Falcons. Scoring for Glen were Samuel Thomas with two goals, Justin Henry with one goal, Joey Kleinitz with one goal, Caden Heckman one goal, Ryan Shue with two goals, Andrew Snyder made one save in the goal. Attention all students, boys and girls, we are having a call-out and information meeting this week on Friday, October 2nd during your lunch hour in the cafeteria. We're asking uh, all boys and girls attend this meeting that are interested. We're also in need of a few managers. Girls interested in wrestling will have the same opportunities as boys. They, have, they also have their own separate state tournaments. Women's wrestling is growing, is growing across the country at college level, and there are a lot of opportunities for you as well. If you are unable to participate, Please send Coach King an email. We are looking to build our success from last year where our own team reached 20 wins and earned two Super Duel champions, championships. Looking forward to seeing a good group of athletes that are, that are ready to work hard and have fun. National Hispanic Heritage Month, which begins each year on September 15th, celebrates U.S. Latinos, their culture, and their history. Started in 1968 by Congress as Hispanic Heritage Week, it was expanded to a month in 1988. The celebration begins in the middle rather than the start of September because it coincides with National Independence Day in several Latin American countries. Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica celebrate theirs on September 15th, followed on Mex by Mexico on September 16th, Chile on September 18th, and Belize on September 21st. Some interesting facts about the Hispanic population in the United States to consider during Hispanic Heritage Month. The U.S. Hispanic population reached 60.6 .6 million in 2019, up from the 50.7 million in 2016. The share of the U.S. Hispanics with college experience has increased since 2010. About 41% of the U.S. Hispanic adults ages 25 or old and older have at least some college experience in 2018. In 2018, 71% of Latinos ages 5 and older spoke English proficiently. People of Mexican origin account for slightly over 60% or 37 million of the nation's overall Hispanic population as of 2018. Those of Puerto Rican origin are the next largest group. At 5.8 million, another 3.2 million live on, live on the island. The fastest population growth among U.S. Latinos has come among those from its origins in Venezuela, the Dominican Republic, Guatemala, and Honduras. Four and five Latinos are U.S. citizens. The share of the U.S. Latinos are immigrants is on the decline and varies by origin group. A record 22 million Latinos projected to be eligible to vote in 2020 up from the 27.3 million in 2016, a quarter of Latino eligible voters are naturalized citizens. Thank you to all who supported the following food fair efforts from, la from late September. The Tyner Fish Fry was sold out in 90 minutes, 615 dinners were served in the drive through format. The first Methodist church soups and the scholarship committee hamburgers, brats, were a success. All foods sold out by the end of the weekend. The North American Midway Food Concessionaires were busy all weekend. When all the bills are paid and the revenue is in, 
We anticipate that the following food fair made about $7,000 for our senior scholarship. Thank you again for on a special word of gratitude for many of the student volunteers, including members of the senior class, the wrestling teams, Mr. and Mrs. King, Mrs. Tibbs, Mr. Pippinger, Mr. and Mrs. Dolph, Mr. and Mrs. Alexander, Ms. Freehoff, Ms. Strange, Ms. Reynolds, Mr. Morton, and many other helpers. A huge thank you to Ms. Linda Parker for making over 600 pieces of homemade cake for the fish fry desserts. Good luck to boys football at LaVille tonight and the boys tennis team in the sectional finals tonight at Bremen. That's our show for today. Have a great weekend, John Glenn. Stay classy.